Hey guys, Solfax here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit uh, Sony Vegas Pro 13 intro templates because a lot of the videos that have the templates don't give you a tutorial, and if you are completely Sony Vegas Pro 13 illiterate like I was, I mean, I know the basics now, but then you'll, you might be searching for this video like I was. And, well, a lot of the videos were just kind of drug out way too long. And, well, anyways, actually, I'm dragging this out right now. Anyways, you're going to want to uh, open up your internet browser of choice and go to this link. That will be the very first link in the description. Download this file. And once you download that, just drag it onto your desktop. And then you will have this lovely little WinRAR file. You will need WinRAR for this, but, uh, you know, it's free. Free, quote unquote. They ask you to buy for it. I mean, pay for it, but... Who does that? Anyways, then you want to extract here. It will new file will pop up on your desktop. An unzipped file. Open that up. Uh, it does come with a font. That'll be the font that you saw come in the video. What? I don't know what I just said. Uh, that that was the font that was used in the beginning of the intro. So, if you like that font, you can just grab it. If you don't know how to install fonts, uh, real fast, I'll show you. Uh, go into the drive that your operating system is installed on. Fonts. Double click in there and then just drag the font and drop that into there. So once you got that done, uh, you can close this and just hit what says open this. So it'll open it up. Ignore that. If you get that pop up, it doesn't really matter. So here's the intro itself. I'll just let you see it with the music that originally comes with it because I changed it. <laughs> So it's pretty dope looking. I mean, I personally like it. I will be using it on my channel. Big shout out to Pyrrhix. I take zero credit for this. I will leave a link to his channel in the description. Uh, if you want to use it, uh, well, it's his. So if you're going to put credit in there, put it for him. I'm just doing this tutorial and using this particular intro for it. So um, anyways, to edit the text, what you want to do is click this little icon right there. And then you can edit whatever you want. We can just put this as like, I don't know. Yay, that works. You, as well as you can change the font if you don't like the Snickers one. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you change it to as well. Though some will be too big. For example, uh, Batman Forever. This one. And then if you put it to my particular... What did I just do? Okay, we I give up. That's what we're going to put. Okay. And then uh, you just hit play and well... As you'll see, it's changed. Okay, yeah, so that's really all there is to it. I will leave links to the download file for the intro template itself. Uh, I will leave a link. No, sorry, not a link. I will leave the songs that I used. I will leave the song that I used in my intro and the one that uh, Pyrrhix used for his copy, which is... This audio format right here. I'll leave us the song in the description for that as well, as well as a link to Pyrrhix's channel if you want to check him out. I personally haven't checked out his channel, but he might have some cool videos up there. So, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video I choose to make. See ya. Okay, guys, just real fast. I realized uh, I was in the middle of editing it, and I just saved it and closed it, but. Uh, I was like, oh wait, what if they don't know how to render and export? So I'm just going to show you how to do that real fast. This is how it works in Sony Vegas Pro 13. I'm not too sure how any of the previous ones are laid out. But uh, anyways, you go up to the top left corner and it's file. Hit render as. Uh, here in name, you can name it. Um, whatever you want. I'm not going to bother naming it for now. But uh, I personally render it 1920 by 10 because I have a beefy CPU that can handle it. I have an i7 4790K at 4 gigahertz, I believe. Um, but if it doesn't really matter, I mean, that's just the best quality that they offer. You can render it 4K, I believe, somewhere in here. I remember reading that. But um, it doesn't really, there's not really a noticeable difference. I just like to have the best quality possible. I'm kind of obsessive like that. So 1280 by 720 or 1920. And how to find that, uh, just hit that arrow there. Um, when you're just going through these, be right there sony avc slash mvc mp4 2 m2 ts and avc just uh cl click on that arrow there and then it'll open this up but basically the first top two choose whichever you prefer there and then hit uh just gotta choose one hit render uh yes 
don't care about that. And uh, it'll finish rendering, and then you can hit open folder and put it on your desktop or do whatever you want with it. So I'm just going to cancel that since uh don't feel like rendering it again and just eating up my CPU more. But um, anyways, that's how you do that, and uh, see you guys.